If you're wondering how to build an entire website in ClickFunnels, including a blog, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jacques Hopkins, and about five years ago, I started a website to teach people piano on the internet, and it's pianoin21days.com. Now, the design of that site has changed many times over the years. And when I got the idea for this most recent design, my thought was that I was going to put it together in ClickFunnels just as a way for my web guy to see what I had in mind, and then I'd have him develop it in WordPress. But the design turned out so good in ClickFunnels, I decided to just leave it there. So let's jump over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Okay, so here we are at the live site for pianoin21days.com. The first thing you'll hopefully notice is the pages load pretty quickly and navigating around is seamless. Hopefully you like the overall design too. ClickFunnels has by far the best page builder I've found, which makes it easy for non-designers like me to build beautiful web pages. But you probably already knew you can make great landing pages in ClickFunnels. What about a whole website that even has a blog? Let me take you into my ClickFunnels account to show you how I have it set up. The main pages of my site are in this funnel called Main, and then my blog posts are in a separate funnel here. Inside my main funnel, you'll notice the individual main pages of my site, Home, Piano 101, etc. I just started out with a blank miscellaneous page and started building. The way the images stick as they scroll is just using the parallax feature here. Some of the pages have buttons you can click on to scroll down the page to the content, and that's done using the scroll to a section function in the URL slash action field. The biggest question I get is how was I able to make the navigation look and work like it does? I just have it set up as a three column row. On the left is my logo, which links to the home page. On the right is a button, which links to my opt-in page. And in the center, I have a ClickFunnels navigation element justified to the right. Now here's a trick that took me a while to figure out. If you want to change the font of the navigation menu, you have to go to settings and typography and change the content font here. Once you have your header like you want it, you can easily propagate it to every page using the save row function. Once you save the row, you can easily insert it on another page. Now let's address the big elephant in the room. What about SEO? Well, ClickFunnels actually has a lot of the features you need. You can insert your SEO metadata here, and you can insert alt text easily on every image. ClickFunnels also makes it really easy to optimize for mobile. For text, you can specify a font size and a mobile only font size, which I did for every piece of text on my site. You can also set any element to show only on desktop, only on mobile, or always show. Here's a look at how the site looks on mobile. Finally, as far as the blog goes, yes, every time I create a new blog post, I do have to manually add it to my main blog page, but it's a small price to pay for all the benefits of having everything in ClickFunnels. So if you like my new design and you wanna use it on your website, I've got a template available for you. You can load this template right into your ClickFunnels account, plug in all of your information, and you'll be live in no time. And to get that template for free, all you need to do is click the link below this video to sign up for your 14-day free trial of ClickFunnels or go to theonlinecourseguide.com slash ClickFunnels.